Welcome to the February 6th edition of the Sideline View here from the Hockey House in uh, chilly downtown Brainerd, which has become a everyday occurrence this winter. Uh, let's start off here. Um, athlete of the week this week for Brainerd is Cole Smith. Um, he's had a nice uh, run last four games, had two hat tricks, and um, Brainerd has bumped up its game as well. Has a big game tonight at Sartell, and then uh, um, number one ranked Hermantown from Class 1A comes in here to Brainerd tomorrow night. So that should be a, a great game, and um, you know if Brainerd can win that one, that's going to really help them to seeding uh, here as we're winding down toward the end of the regular season. And um, how about your athletes of the week this week? I got two Nordic skiers from Little Falls, Maria Hauer and uh, Matt Mossman, um, both qualified for state uh, on Tuesday, um, along with the, the Little Falls Flyers team uh, and two more uh, Little Falls boys skiers and uh, Mr. Baker from uh, Brainerd. So. Quite a big uh, caravan going from uh, the area to the State Nordic Ski Meet. Uh, also, uh, Maria Howard, I think she's only lost one event all year. I know it's the biggest one in the country, and she finished in the top ten there. So she's had a great season, so well-deserving for her. And Matt mossman has been coming on of late. Uh, he, he won uh, the conference, the Grant Ridge Conference Meet. So I think he finished sixth at the Nordic, or the section Nordic Ski. So quality skiers in, Nordic, in uh, Little Falls. Always been amazed at how one program, and that's just an example of, uh, you know, program that doesn't make any difference who the uh, athletes are. They're still, you know, they've dominated. There was a nine straight section for girls. Little Falls girls have won nine straight section titles. So, it's pretty amazing. Yep, everyone's everyone's trying to beat them, and no one can yet. So. Yeah, yeah. Terry Wazlin's doing a great job down there. I, um, another thing, I guess you saw the Brainer boys basketball on Monday, and you got them again <coughs> tonight. Um, Isaiah Smith had a big night for them on Monday. Big upset. They knocked off uh, 10th ranked St. Cloud Tech, who was undefeated in, in conference play. They were 11 and 0, and now Brainerd sitting at 9 and 2 is only one game behind Tech for the conference title, at least a share, possibly. So, you know. I talked to Stanfield yes on Monday, and he said if you would have told us we were nine and two, I would have been surprised. I wouldn't have believed you. But uh, they've kind of shocked everybody as, as far as conference play. Out of conference, they're they're kind of struggling. But conference play, like I said, they're nine and two. Another one tonight against Alexandria. So we'll see how they how they continue to uh, get on a roll here. I know Stan had said uh, when they lost to Buffalo last week, and I think it was by twenty three or twenty four that he said that's the best team in the section and. Uh, so we'll see how that happens, and of course they're they're come winding down too. But uh, is really have had a good year considering you know you graduate your top eight nine guys and <laughs> yep. uh, replace them with you know people that didn't get a lot of minutes last year. It's been really a nice year for them. So um, had some signings this week. Grant Ryer, I understand, uh, signed football for with Morehead State. Um, Vanessa Lane is going to South Dakota State for track and field. Tyler Tappy. U of M track and field. I know Little Falls had, uh, I think it was three, three Wednesday. Yeah. They got three more coming up on Friday. And um, uh, Jalen Beachy also, yeah. North Dakota State for track. Track right? and field, yep. So had a, it's been a big big week for um, area athletes here signing to go Division One or, or Division Two. So anything else of note this week that you can think of? No, I got nothing else. Okay, we'll wrap it up here from the Hockey House. Thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you next week. See you.